Hey everyone, hope you guys are all doing good. Today I'm sitting down and I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit of something that I have been going through in my life. I feel like it's kind of a change and a transition and this new journey that I feel myself going on. So I have embarked on kind of a new lifestyle change that I've been making for myself and for my family. Now, if you guys are not familiar with minimalism, the term minimal the term minimalism, I feel like it's very trendy right now. There's been a lot of people talking about living a minimalist lifestyle and having a capsule wardrobe. And if you're not familiar with any of this, all you have to type in is minimalist, either on YouTube or on Google, and you will come up with a wealth of resources and you'll figure out what it is real quick. But in a nutshell, I have found myself very intrigued with this minimalist lifestyle. If you have any tips or tricks on minimalism or on purging or any resources or anything that you want to let me know about, I am excited and would love to hear them. So comment down below and let me know. Or if you have embarked on minimalism or on living a more minimalistic lifestyle, I would love to hear your story or if you've done any videos on it or if you know any good videos. I'm like eating it all up right now. I'm loving it. So comment down below and let me know. Now back up a little bit I will give you a little bit of background about myself I am somebody that struggles with anxiety a lot I have my whole life I've struggled with really bad generalized anxiety and since we moved into this new home that we're living in right now we moved in June of 2015 last year but ever since we moved I have been noticing that I have just had a lot of anxiety like more than what I would consider normal for myself. And before we moved, I started boxing up stuff that we owned like a few months beforehand because I was due with Jude around the same time. And so I got really used to having nothing on my walls, no access in my kitchen, no access in my closet. I got used to living with the bare minimum because everything was boxed up ready to move. Which is really funny because it's like, why did I have all of this stuff boxed up to move into the home that we're living in now and not using it for three months? Like, wouldn't that tell me something? You know what I mean? Like, if I could live without it, if my family could go without it for one to three months, then we probably didn't need it. So needless to say, after we moved and I started unpacking all of the stuff, I became a little bit overwhelmed. Now, most people would probably say that we really actually didn't have that much. We were used to living in a two bedroom apartment, so we were used to purging and not keeping a lot of stuff, but somehow we still had a lot of stuff. So we moved and we had all this stuff in the house, and over these past few months, I've been really overwhelmed with the fact that I have three kids at three and under. I mean, let's be real here, you guys. It's overwhelming. There are some days when I am like just surviving on coffee and fruit snacks and granola bars. My husband works full-time. He also works a part-time job and he goes to school full-time. So there's a lot of things contributing to me feeling overwhelmed and anxious. But I will say that one thing I have seen so much since we moved is that I have constantly been having to pick up and clean like literally you guys I have had so much crap everywhere like it's like there's stuff everywhere like clutter 24 7 I mean like clothes piles of laundry that I'm having to clean and then piles of laundry that while they're waiting to get washed you know I have piles sitting in my room that I haven't gotten a chance to fold and put away so needless to say when I learned about minimalism and I learned about the art of having less so that you can enjoy more of your life I was like sold that sounds like something I need so I have been purging our home purging my life like a mad woman over the past couple weeks I have gotten rid of bags upon bags upon bags of clothes of blankets of stuff of toys of pots and pans like you name it you guys I have been getting rid of it and I sound like a hoarder talking about all the stuff I'm getting rid of but literally going through my house and seeing all of the stuff that I had 
it was amazing the amount of stuff I could get rid of. I was like, where is this all coming from? I felt like Mary Poppins, you know, pulling out all of this insanely huge stuff out of this little bag. Like, where did it all come from? I don't even know. So I've been doing this lately and it has been so therapeutic. And the more stuff I give away, the lighter I feel. Like, I literally feel like a new person. My anxiety has been lifting. It's been easier for me to take care of my house and keep it clean. I've been taking stuff off the walls that I had hung simply because it was something to hang on my wall when I didn't even like it. So this is a new journey that I'm on and hopefully a lifestyle change for me forever to just live with less so that I can enjoy more of my life, so that I can focus on memories and less on messes so that I can put stuff away and not have to worry about clutter being everywhere. I'm excited about this and I'm trying to retrain my mind and retrain my thoughts and how I'm thinking about things and my habits so that I don't accumulate more stuff. So if you wanna see more videos kind of on my journey in minimalism, I don't know how deep I'm gonna get in this. I don't know if I'm gonna, you know, have like five items and be counting everything I own or anything like that but I just want to be intentional about what I have and why I have it and if you want me to share my journey on that then I'd be happy to so let me know in the comments below if you guys do want to see some videos on this because I would love to share it with you I'm excited about it I love you guys I hope you're all doing good and you're all blessed and I will see you next time